Three days into the hurricane season, and I'm going to have an outlook for you, but things are looking calm and okay there. WDSU first morning weather, and we'll show you radar first because there is a series of storms right around Texarkana just now moving into North Louisiana. Severe thunderstorm watches are up for that. This could be our first round of storm potential as we work late tonight. Seen a couple of hefty storms in Mississippi and east along the Alabama border here too. But if we're to take those storms and we track them and time them at the arrival of when they could be here at the speed they're moving here, it might put it at one, two, three in the morning to the North Shore if those storms hold. But the thing is, is they are starting to weaken and actually making a little progress a little farther east from there too. Let's see the bigger picture and go right into our forecast. There's quite a bit to talk about. Obviously, that storm cluster that we've got there. More heat and humidity storms driven as we head to the Mississippi and Alabama border here, too. And a number of alerts that are up in the way. Severe thunderstorm watches in the pink that are shown here. And we've got heat alerts up. If you go a little farther west, excessive heat warnings. Yeah, that's for temperatures as hot as 111. That's, you know, in the Mojave Desert. So we've got these weak systems rolling through, interacting with our heat and humidity here. So exactly where these systems roll through, where it develops these complexes of storms. I mean, these are really difficult forecasts to be driven, though our computer forecasts have gotten so much better. It's a lot easier to identify where we've got a storm mass and then track it to where its arrival will be, such as our first round that's right here. Severe thunderstorm warnings all along that line. And again, it's holding off some decent southeasterly movement. This particular high res forecast wants to take a piece of the storms move them east, wants to take some of those storms in the movement due south and doesn't really want to do a whole lot here. But again, these storms can play a little havoc with computer forecast and we know they're there. We know that they're headed our direction. So if they are our first chance of rain well after midnight. Beyond that, low temperatures here, we're all off into the 70s, some 80s to start off tomorrow morning along the lakefront and even along the coast. Tomorrow, here's going to be a chance of some storms arriving, but could be some heftier storms shown here by 5. We really get to the heat of the day, and that could coincide with some strong, potentially severe storms. Where we're under this level 1 risk, 5 different categories, marginal risk for strong wind gust potential to it. But locally heavy rain exists too. This is why it will be a WDSU first warning weather impact day. And just mainly for the North Shore, we got a chance of the storms here, but it does appear likelier north tomorrow. High temperatures around 90. Of course, you add in the humidity and we feel more like 100, 105 with the old heat index. It's taking through overnight Tuesday into Wednesday morning and we do it all over again. Wednesday looks to be maybe fewer storms and it's a little bit more hot and humid. Could be some late night storms that arrive overnight Wednesday into Thursday. So again, from those complexes of thunderstorms that arrive earlier in the day northwest here and then move our direction, Temperatures still into the 90s, the heat index still 100, 105. Extend the forecast out to Thursday into Friday. This front will ease through, and that looks to be our next likelier round of widespread storms. However, when you get that heat to come into the humidity, when you get that front to move into the heat and humidity, it can kind of squish that heat together and make it more intense. So it could be really hot on Thursday into Friday, and we'll continue to bring storm chances into the mix as we work our way past the weekend and next week as that front fades. But taking a look at the tropics, there's a number of tropical waves that are out, three of them in the Atlantic, two in the Caribbean, but interacting with some dry air. This is a plume of Saharan dust that notes the air is really dry. So if we take a look at the forecast that we've got a quite a bit of wind shear and storm systems in the northern Atlantic, and then we've got the Saharan dust plume, and that means that we don't see a whole lot of development, if any, over the next seven days. So the good news here is no tropical formation expected over the next seven days. WDSU first warning weather seven day forecast. We are looking at the impact day tomorrow with the risk of some storms a little likelier for the North Shore. Then we start to heat up as that front moves into the region Thursday, Friday. Another impact day for the heat and storms Friday, but it could move in a little bit drier air for the weekend.